welcome back to the channel. Today I am here at the Markham Park here in Florida and I'm going to check out, even though I have my car here, today we're going to check another review on R1T. This time it's from someone else, not the one that I saw a few weeks ago. This Rivian is owned by one of my followers on Twitter. He saw the video, uh, the short video that we did the, a few weeks ago, and he said, hey, if you want to check out another Rivian R1T, go deeper into the features and stuff, want to check it out, just let me know. So we coordinated, we decided to meet here at the Markham Park. So I'm going to take some additional time to go over the features, see if I can better understand its capabilities and the things that it has, and share that with you. Let's check it out. We have our friend here, Gerard. Gerard, thank you for joining me here. Gerard is the proud new owner of this beautiful Rivian R1T that's behind us, a gorgeous white Rivian R1T. And uh, as you know, a few weeks ago, I had the chance to, to check one out randomly. I, I bumped into so someone uh, that was driving around in the Fort Lauderdale area and uh, I just couldn't help myself. And I told him it was a nice truck and he said, hey, you wanna check it out? So that's what I did. But I only spent about five or 10 minutes with it. I didn't have a real ch uh, chance to dig into the details. So um, Gerard here, you saw that video yes. and uh, you reach out. Yes. So that, that that's great. Cool. Yeah. And uh, so he was kind enough to say, hey, you want to see it close and, and check it out? So I said, yeah, let's do it. So we're here at the Markham Park here in the city of Sunrise. And uh, we're going to just go around it, uh, check it out inside, check out all the features. I don't know if we can go out for a quick drive here in the park, maybe just to see how it feels. Uh, nothing crazy. Um, and just like spend some time with it. Yeah. Awesome. So let's do that. Well, Gerard, how long since you've had the, the R1T? I've had it now for, um, it should be about three weeks. Um, I picked it up on the 12th of last month of May. Um, originally I was supposed to receive it on the 4th, but there was a few little issues with delivery and uh, the readiness of the car. So now I've had it for about three weeks now. Okay, cool. So how much do you like it since you've had it? Uh, never going back. Really? Yeah. You like it that much? I like it that much. Okay, great. So talk to me about the car a little bit. This is a launch edition R1T. So launch edition means I was one of the early pre-order holders. So it took a, a little bit of time to get yeah, it. Yeah, so originally this was supposed to be in production and delivered towards the end of 2020. Okay. Middle to the end of 2020. Um, then they got delayed with the pandemic and they got delayed again. And um, this is a, a launch edition. So with the launch edition, it comes with a few things included. You have the option to get the upgraded wheels, which is what I have. So if you wanna look at those. So those are the 20 inch all-terrains with the all-terrain Pirelli tires. Um, are those bigger brakes or they all have the same brake? That's the standard brake on all of them. Okay. So it's the front, really big. Uh, I believe the Brembo makes the brake for them. Okay. I see a camera right here. Yes, the vehicle has many cameras, like a Tesla. How many cameras does it have? I think it's 11 cameras, I'm not 100%. Okay. Um, I know it has fender, it's got mirror, it's got one in the front, it's got one inside facing the driver, it's got um, one back here, one at the back of the tailgate. So how about the, the outside features? What are the features that it has outside? Like I know that there's a tunnel here. This has a tunnel cover, or the, the what they call the gear uh, gear tunnel. Okay. Which this opens up and it goes all the way through. Okay. I have a couple of things. I have my, my tool bag and my, my backpack in there. Okay. Um, inside here, it actually has storage. So this particular unit comes with an air compressor hose in the, in the door for the, for the gear tunnel. Okay. Um, I ordered it with the racks. The racks, so those are extra. Those are extra, those aren't, um, those are optional. Um, what I liked about them was that they're really simple. So they have a little, so once they're unlocked, you literally just lift and they're up. Oh, wow, that's... And to put it down, you just push it down and that's it, you're locked. That's cool, that's really simple. It's really simple, that's what I really, one thing I really liked about it. Can you open the cover with them in yes. installed? Oh, great. Okay. 
There's two buttons here, one's for the cover and one's for the tailgate. So you hit the other button, the tailgate goes down. Oh, okay. Nice, and I see that yours opens all the way. I've seen many of them that they don't open all the way after a little bit, they stop. Like, they stop working, yes. Yeah. They're, so, I'm, I'm assuming they have issues with some of the of the mechanism and the and the, the tonneau cover. Um, as you heard it, it's kind of noisy. So everyone thinks that they may have some issues with it. They haven't come out and said if there are issues or not. Okay. But I have yet to have issues um, with mine. Okay. Um, what else is in here? We have air compressors, so you can fill up Anything you need to fill up, tires, toys, inflatables. Okay. And it also has like power, right? That side has two 110 outlets. Okay. So you can plug in anything you need a power right there. Okay. Does it have a 220? Like It does not have a 220 like no. Ford, no. Okay. So quick question. Will I be able to say charge my, my Tesla plugged into that 110 even if it's a trickle charge? I want to say you can, because I believe I've seen someone try this already. Okay, I should have brought my cables just to, to test, test it. it. We, yeah. yeah. I, I know I read somewhere that someone tested it, but I haven't actually seen a video on it. Um, another cool little feature here is down here. There's these two openings. I don't know if you can see them there. So this comes with a cable where you can use to tie down anything you have in, your, in the back. Okay. And basically the two ends go in here. And when you lock the vehicle, it locks the cable so the whatever you have tied down stays tied. Oh, I saw that from the other R1T. He had like a cable underneath here. Where yeah, so the... it comes and actually brings it in the under the hood. I have on this one a spare tire. So under here I have a full size matching spare. Oh, okay. So if you get this without the full size spare, which is an option, you just have like a big storage area. Like a cooler. Like a big cooler. It actually has a drain plug on the it bottom, so you can use it as a cooler. And so does the, uh, the, the front trunk, The right? front trunk as well. So you can actually fill it up with ice, put some, some soft drinks there, yeah. go to the beach, have everything you need. Let's go look at the front. Okay. So you can see. So you can open it either from the inside, from the key fob, or right down here, there's a button you press. It'll open the front. Okay. Which is pretty big. It's pretty massive. <laughs> yeah, so this is a false floor. Right. So. This opens up. So this is their charging cable. This is another accessory that I ordered. This was the field kit. Um, but yeah, here's a little plug for. Oh, okay, that's the drain plug. That's the drain plug. It's got the little emergency release. If you get stuck inside or someone wants to try to lock you inside. It's got the lights. It's got a 12 volt. So oh, you can nice. power things in the front. Okay. Um, so it's a good tailgating uh, <laughs> machine. Yeah, it's a, it's a it can be a pretty good tailgating vehicle. Um, okay. I'm gonna put this back. Is this rubber insulation? Yeah, it's just plastic. How about rattles or anything like that? Does it make a lot of noise? This is the cable. Oh, that's a safety cable. Yeah. Okay. So it's got the, the two ones that just go in and lock. So how is it inside? Like once you're rolling on the street, is it quiet? It's it's pretty quiet. Um, I gotta say compared to like my previous vehicle, I had, um, before this I had a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Okay. Um, I, Jeep Grand Cherokee is basically the best vehicle I've ever owned. Okay. This exceeds that by like, by a ton so far. Okay. In just a couple of weeks, I can say this already exceeds that. <laughs> so you're in love with it. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, awesome. The, the, the vehicle is really, really nice. Um, rattles, I haven't noticed any rattles. I haven't noticed anything, um, anything out of the ordinary. Um, if you go over terrain fast, Oh, you know, over obstacles, it's going to make some noise. Okay. Like any vehicle. Um, what else? This vehicle, I've had already one issue, which I'm waiting to get fixed. I've lost all connectivity. So it means I have no GPS. I have no um, uh, internet and I have no um, Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Are they addressing it? They are addressing it. The issue that they have currently is because I'm in South Florida. The closest service center to us is Orlando currently. Oh, okay. So the Miami service center hasn't opened yet. Um, they're still under construction. Got it. So they're giving me a couple of options. Either I can wait till Miami opens, I can set up with them to have them come pick up the vehicle on a flatbed, them drop off a loaner, and they take care of the issue and then bring it back. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, can we check inside? Let's go inside. Awesome.
Well, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to go around the park and tear it apart. <laughs> well, um, looking at this for since just getting in, uh, my first impression is that it's it's very well put together. I think this truck, let me show the dashboard and the interface. It looks really, really high quality, to be honest. And the feel for it, like, this is this wood? It feels it's like wood. wood. It's real wood? Yeah, reclaimed wood. Oh, wow. It's, it's nice. I see the, the air ducts. It has a nice uh, air conditioning system. Yeah, similar to the Tesla's okay, to Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I can feel it. Y yeah, si tú lo mira, if you look at down here, like it'll actually move the vent wherever you point it to. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, my God. That feels so nice. <laughs> Let me see if I can. There we go. It's hit me in the face because I'm like it's sweating hot. here. It's real yeah. hot today. Okay. Oh, so let's see what else we have. What is the glove box? There is no glove box. There is no glove box. No, there's no glove box on the, like a traditional um, vehicle. There's a little tiny compartment on the front of the seat. So if you, oh, okay. You can put like glasses or Got small it. items there. Okay. There's one under each seat. So this one has one as well down here. Okay. It has a really deep center console. Okay. So it goes in pretty far. Nice. Um, and the seats on the back, I'm going to have to sit back there la later. It looks comfortable as hell. It looks really yeah, So far they've told me, it's. Um, some of my friends have told me it's, it's actually really, really comfortable. Um, one of my friends, I just gave him a ride a couple of days ago for the first time, and he said the back seat was more comfortable than his bed. Okay. He, he exaggerates a little bit sometimes, but, uh, <laughs> you know. You, you don't okay. Know. Um, the top is glass. There's no shade, so it's all. But I see that it. I feel that it has UV protection. It has UV protection. Yes. Yeah, it's just like my car. Yes. Okay. Cool. What else? Does it, the oh, rear glass open? No, it does not. Okay. Um, it also does have, which I should have told you earlier, down here. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, nice. Okay. So it comes out. You can take it outside the vehicle. Take it with you. And it syncs with the car or with the phone? Or? It'll sync with either one. Oh, so it's with any vehicle, Bluetooth? Yeah, with the vehicle or the or the car. Okay. And um, here, cup holders. Cup that holders. That comes out. Okay. Pushes in. And um, yeah, so we have a, I think it's, I don't remember the size of the screen. It looks it's like, like 15 a 15 inch, inch stretched yeah. out. Something okay. like that. Here you have um, all the different things. You have your AC. Okay. Um, what about the navigation? What does it look like? Now, my navigation actually isn't working because I don't have GPS. I have a connectivity issue. So I have the last known place that it actually had uh, GPS. Oh, that's super strange. Yeah. Okay. So I'm waiting on service for that. Um, for no rate. matter if, like if you reboot it or anything like that. Yeah, I've tried. Matter. I've actually there's there's two resets you can do. You can do a soft reset, which will reset the user interface, or you can do a full reset, which resets the entire um, vehicle. And neither one has fixed that. Okay. So they're they're not sure if it's a software issue or if it's an actual hardware issue to fix that. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? I just remembered that we when we were looking at it from the outside, I didn't ask you if you have if you also have the. Um, the little flashlight on the door. Oh, yours yeah. has that too? Yeah. Because I know that they come with it, but I don't think I saw it last time. I don't remember, maybe I did. And and this flashlight, the battery inside is the type of battery cell that powers the vehicle, right? That's what they originally said. I don't know if they made changes to it. Okay. Um, but they said originally it's one of the same type ba uh, batteries that powers the vehicle. Can you open it and see the battery or is it sealed? I... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. Does it have numbers? Is it like 18650 or something like that? Uh, it does not say. But it definitely looks like a- It, it may be. Bigger battery than a normal. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is bigger than a normal. So you must have the same type of battery that comes with, to power uh, the, the vehicle. Okay, that's cool. And it's it's really bright, right? 
Yeah, it's a thousand lumens. Oh, now I remember. I think the the other owner of the other Rivian, I think he showed it to me now that I say that. I think he actually uh, uh, turned yeah, it on. It's, it's really, it's really bright. Okay. Even in daylight, you can Yeah. see the... That's cool for emergencies. Yeah. Okay. It's one of those little gimmicks. <laughs> okay. Mo most people won't really, you know, use it for for much but it's, it's it's a nice little thing that they added so what about the rest of the stuff it has like the music thing and so it comes in with spotify built in it comes with tune in radio um your phone okay regular um, fm it does not come with am um, okay electric vehicles do have issues with am radio how about the uh the next one is like suspension stuff right so we go into the next which is your different modes so here you have your all-purpose which is just regular driving you have sport, conserve, which is on conserve mode, it disconnects the rear um, motors and it just runs on the front motors. Okay. And that gives you the best, um, that's supposed to give you the best range. You have in your off-road modes, which there's a sub menu for what type of off-roading, either auto, <laughs> rock, drift. rally, and drift, yes. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and you have your towing mode, which is if you're going to tow in a vehicle. When you plug in a trailer, automatically goes into towing mode. Okay. And it tells you there's a there's a, a trailer or something that you're towing plugged in. Does it come with the with the connection for trailers? Or you have to add that? You have to add, uh, well, it comes with the hitch. There's a cover on the back, on the bottom. Um, the panel, there's two screws that uh, you turn, comes off. And then you just you have your receiver there. So you just put your hitch and you're, you're good to go. And, and the cables also? The cable, it? it's got the connector right there. So okay. you just plug right into it right there. Okay, that's Now, cool. on each mode, it has a suspension height. Okay. So, so whatever you... mode you're going to, you can go from the lowest, which is nine and a half inches of ground clearance. Oh, I see it. Mo I feel it moving, yeah. yeah. And then if you go all the way to, let's go to uh, all purpose. And then the highest, let's see, let's move on to the highest. And now I think I need to go into off road for that. Off-road, yeah. The highest gives you 15 inches of ground clearance. Okay. So it's got a really good range from lowest to highest. Is it lifting right now? Uh, yes, it'll lift off front, back, front, back, front, back to get to the height. I want to say that I feel like rocking, like it's rocking. Yeah. 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 So it's gonna go like like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it gets to the height that um okay that I need. I hear that the, some people saying that um, when when they're stopped at a light that it kind of starts like leveling itself and it moves yes it does if it feels one area lower than it's supposed to be it'll actually lift it that corner mm. to even out the vehicle or um or lower depending on how it is if it feels one area that's higher than it's supposed to it'll it'll try to even out the vehicle when it stops okay what um, else does it have here we go into so here's um basically here are your openings where you can open the hood from the inside. You can open the charge port. You can open either side of the gear tunnel. Um, those are open only. You can't close them. You have to go out there and close it manually. Okay. You can open the bed cover. Okay. And you can open the tailgate. The tailgate also you have to manually close. Okay. Um, here it gives you your adjustment for the, for the mirrors. Uh, mirrors and windows. That's using the little scrolls on the, oh, okay. like a Tesla. Yeah. Um, you can fold your mirrors. You can unfold your mirrors. Um, this little guy is pretty cool. This is what they call their gear guard, which is basically just similar to uh, Tesla like, Sentry mode. Like the Sentry mode, okay. Yeah, so um, it'll record from when you're parked. Okay, you does know. it record all, all, you know, around? All around, so if someone walks by, it's, okay. it's going to show you. And it tells you which camera they walked by. Yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, so you have everything. It'll show you which and, camera. And you can export that and bring it to the computer and stuff? Yeah, so there's two um, there's two USB ports inside here. Okay. Um, you can put in a USB Type-C, uh, what do they call it? Like, those? A, like, like a, a thumb drive? drive, like a thumb drive or a hard drive. Yeah. And you can copy um, the videos onto there. Okay. They haven't yet added um, like a dash cam mode, which I think the Teslas have. Yes. Where it can record while you're driving. Yeah, I heard that, that they don't have that yet. But they don't have that yet, but they're working on okay. on that from what they said. Um, so out of this mode, then you go into the lighting mode, which is basically your cabin lights. Um, you can either go in the, this is in the white, so the day mode. You can go into the night mode where everything's 
is black. You can also make it brighter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like dark mode. Yeah. Okay. Or you can set it in auto. Um, so it detects the light and yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's uh, the what's the yeah. other uh, the so three that, dots? That's the gear guard. The three dots are just an additional um, feature. So you have your cameras. Oh, okay. So um, that's in real time. This is your front view. This is your bird's eye view. Oh, okay. Um, that's cool. We don't have that on the Tesla. You can hit to see your rear camera. Same thing with the bird's eye view. And mm -hmm. they have a cool little feature that if you take off the bird's eye view, it shows you the wheels. Oh, nice. So rear, you, heat, you see each rear wheel. But when you go forward, you see each front wheel. And if you turn the wheel, it'll actually... You can actually see it. Yeah. yeah. So great. if you're off-roading or something, which I think is their biggest push is for off-road right you can actually see where you're placing your wheels as you're as you're driving yeah okay that's um, awesome from there they also have then it's just the phone settings um, how do i get out of that there we go uh phone settings so settings you have like your access where you can set like your lock on lock um different things you want um mirrors folding or unfolding when you unlock and lock the doors uh, driver plus is basically your um like your not just your self-driving but your other things like, like board collision okay lane departure emergency braking um so this won't have uh currently it doesn't have like a full self-drive like tesla does uh, this would only do highway um, okay so it, it has driver assistance it's a driver assistance. so at yeah, least uh, it keeps you on the lane and exactly turns. if you want to change lanes you physically have to turn your um turn signal, switch lanes, and then come back, you know, and then it'll, when you go back into the, the next lane, it'll go back into the, the self-driving. Okay. Um, it does have a capacitive wheel, so it does need detection that your hands or something are touching the wheel. Okay. Um, I think Tesla does it by force, by um, uh, torque. Yeah, I, we, yeah. we just, uh, I just rest my hand on the yeah, wheel. Yeah, you, you put a little bit of, of torque on it and it feels that there's yeah. torque and that's it. We can also move the, like the volume control, like the little thumb wheels. We can move yeah. that and, and it, it works, yeah. So, so it's got left, right, left, right, and the little wheels scroll. Okay. Um, you have a gear selector, like a regular um, Tesla. Yeah. I'm assuming. So you have the stuck there simple. and another one on All the, the other side for the signals. So um, here we have a windshield wiper and lights. Okay. And yeah, and turn signals. Open door for the turn signals. Okay, cool. Um, what else do we have? Uh, here's your charge. They recommend daily to charging to 70% to okay. maintain battery health. Um, you can do extended or trip, which will let you fully charge. You can set your amps at your charge level, mm -hmm. how if you want to charge. You can set a schedule if you want to charge on a schedule. Um, you can open and close your charge port. That's in the corner. And open and close. Um, and then for your outlets, there's two in the bed. Mm -hmm. There's one inside on the back seats. You can turn on the outlets and turn them off. Oh, okay. So um, they're not on all the time. They're not on all the time. You can choose to leave them on, but... Yeah. Okay, it's a, a, optional. Okay. And then here it tells you what you're actually ordered, or what your vehicle is. Okay. Um, so, so far I got a thousand miles. Um, I have a large battery pack. <laughs> <It's> brand new. <laughs> it's a launch edition, Glacier White, with a black mountain interior. And I do have the off-road underbody um, package, which that means there's a shield underneath. Right. So you have full um, protection. Okay. And it shows you your your tires. That's awesome. All right. So, should we take it out for a ride? Let's go for a spin. Okay. So on the, um, aside from the re vehicle height. It gives you the options for um, regenerative braking. You can't turn it off, but you can have like a low and a high setting on the regen. Um, it's what they call it standard and high. Um, there's no actual off, so you always have the- You have some, always. Always, yeah. Okay, that's fine. And you also have um, the ride, uh, the stiffness or soft on the suspension. Okay. Um, I tend to leave it on soft and high regen, and, um, and I usually drive on low uh, height. Unless I'm, unless the terrain requires me to have something yeah. a little bit more That's more efficient. Aggressive. Yeah, it's more efficient that way. Yeah. Um, when I go all the way on the lowest height, I feel like the suspension is too rough. Right. Um, there's just not enough travel. But um, 
That's pretty good. You know, the, I'm a little surprised how quiet it is rolling with those high traction wheels, like those uh, tires. So those are specifically made for electric vehicles. Okay. So those are Pirelli All-Terrain's uh, ELEC, which is electric. Um, they're specifically made with a, I'm assuming it's a, a similar tread pattern to their original All-Terrain, maybe a softer compound or something to to keep the rolling resistance down and to make it a little bit quieter. Now, everyone does say that the cabin is kind of quiet. It's really quiet, truck. yeah. Um, based on my Jeep that I had before this, it is very quiet. I would have to agree with that. It's a really smooth ride. I like it. That's definitely softer than my car. My car has like sporty suspension. You have the performance. Though, right? yeah, yeah, but I also replaced the, the oh, suspension. The suspension. Okay. Yeah, even sportier. Okay. <laughs> so it, you feel every bump. Yeah, when you if you make it to, to a stiff, you start feeling more and more of the of the road, and it actually drives more like a sports car. The okay. stiffness. I like the visibility, it's nice. And I'm looking around and I see like, it has good visibility all around. Yeah, I haven't really found any um, blind spots to say. Um, it's got the, the markers on the mirrors, so it tells you there's a vehicle next to you. The yeah. little, on the little corners. Um, mm -hmm. And they're big too. Yeah, they're big, you have a good big windshield. I think if you have like a big trailer, then maybe they're a little bit small. Yeah, if you're yeah, depending on what you're telling, it could be a yeah. little bit on the small side. And you can literally drive it with one one foot. Like uh, I think I've used the brakes on it actually twice since I've had it. Yeah, single pedal driving. The single is pedal great. driving is with the region. What a what a change. Yep. What an experience. And it has good turning radius also. It's um, it's a little bit, it's not as good as my Jeep had, which um, I thought the Jeep had a really good turning radius. Um, I had a Jeep Grand Cherokee, um, but it's very close to it. It's a little bit uh, bigger circle, but I, on a, I think you can make a turn with three lanes without any issues, I think. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and then, yeah, like this is in the lowest um, setting, you feel more of the of like a harder. Yeah, you feel the bumps a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if you put it on stiff, you really feel it harder. Um, and it's quick. The acceleration is, I don't know if we can accelerate in here. No, no, it's okay. Because here in the park, they have like very strict uh, yeah. rules. But um, I, I've seen the numbers. I think it's pretty snappy here. Yeah, yeah it's, um, it, it, you gotta get used to it. Yeah. It's not something, you know, I've, I've driven sports cars before. I have a Trans Am. But the acceleration is, is impressive. Uh, yeah. It's very impressive. That's cool. Electric vehicles are... They have all the torque at zero. Yeah. <laughs> so... This dashboard looks so nice. Yeah, the material is... Um, so this isn't... They don't use real leather, they use vegan leather. It's basically fake leather. Mm -hmm. The wood is uh, reclaimed. Um, and same thing with the, the headliner, which is... Uh, like Alcantara? It's like an Alcantara, but it's it's all it's reclaimed uh, microfiber. Okay. But it looks like, it, like Alcantara, yeah. Cool. really quiet but the drive yeah it's yeah every time I go driving home from work or to work or anywhere I'm driving it just it feels different it's it's not like any vehicle I've had before yeah and I just pushed the seat backwards and I like there's a lot of space in front here I, I can't I can't actually reach if I'm sitting straight and the series push all the way back. I, I can't reach the floor, which is cool. So people that are tall, 
they won't have an issue with this truck. There's actually a, a video at one of the auto shows where Shaquille O'Neal sat in the driver's seat of one of these. Did he fit? He said he fit fine. Okay. Now, it was a pre-production model. It was their first um, vehicle that they made for the auto show. So when that translates over to this, to an actual production model, I don't know if there's a, any changes in it. Um, but if Shaquille O'Neal can fit in here, anyone should be able to fit. <laughs> yeah, I'm only 5'7", so I'm definitely I, I'm fit <laughs> for sure. Um, that's great. Yeah, I mean, I was considering getting one of these, but given that they're not uh, easy to order right now, it's going to take a long time. I think that at this point for me, it's going to be quicker to just get the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, like, yeah, like I said earlier, originally I had a Cybertruck on order. Um, I pre-ordered a Cybertruck, I pre-ordered this, and I pre-ordered an F-150. And I told myself, whichever one comes first is what I'm going to keep. Um, I was hoping actually for this or the Cybertruck. I wasn't really wanting an F-150. Right. Um, they're not bad vehicles. I just preferred um, either the smaller truck or the crazier looking truck. Right. You know, I, I think it's a, a really cool idea behind the Cybertruck. It's different. It, it draws <clears throat> attention. Yeah, I think the way to go, at least for me, is, you know, to uh, go with the... Uh, legacy manufacturers are doing a lot of things wrong, and even though they're going to catch up and probably even surpass, the new companies are more into it, and I, th I think they're going to have a better future in this market, so... Yeah. I honestly don't think the legacy is going to catch up. Well, we'll see. I mean, I, I hope they do, because, uh, for example, I... I you know, I, I'm a Tesla fan, but I'm actually an all-electric car fan. And I think as uh, someone that advocates for Tesla's mission, which is to advocate for sustainable energy and transportation, yes. I think the more companies do it, the better. So I'm really yes. rooting for the other companies, every company to make it. Uh, no cheating, though. Uh, it has to be right for the customer. It has to be right for 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 all the different reasons. Yes. And, um and then after that, it's just going to be uh, a better, less contaminated future, yeah. uh, better for our children and grandchildren. And um, this is great. I'm actually in love with this car. If I didn't have a Cybertruck in order, I think this is the one that I would get, definitely. Um, I think the, the F-150 has a lot of really cool features and I think uh, they're gonna do great, but it just looks the same and I don't want the same. I, I like different difference uh it's just different yeah right? it's different so um but if i had no other choice uh and i had to pick one right away and it became available then um who knows maybe i could even jump on that because from my understanding is that it's going to be or is already a really good vehicle so um in any case uh gerard thank you so much for allowing me to experience the Rivian R1T. I think it's a great truck. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, I hope it's not the last time that we meet. Uh, we have a Tesla Owners Club here, uh, but we, are, we welcome everyone uh, that has an EV to join us in our events. We're probably going to be doing some racing in Homestead. We're going to be doing some go-karts in K1 Speed, which is an all-electric go-kart track. And we actually bring the club here to this park sometimes. So if you stay around uh, and join us, uh, you're more than welcome. I appreciate it. Well, there you have it. That was the video with the new Rivian R1T from our friend Gerard. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye.